Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rachel. Welcome. I appreciate all the new people who have subscribed. Thank you so much. Um, today I'm going to be talking about the newly formulated Dior Quince. I have this in the shade Soft Cashmere. And I don't have this Quint to compare it to in the old formula, but I do have other Quints that I've used that I can compare. And yeah, if you want to see how to get this look, then keep watching. All right, so I have my foundation done. I actually, this is weird. I actually filmed my Chanel video before this video today. I'm so tired, but um, so half, this half is my Revlon Colorstay <laughs> foundation and then the NARS bronzer and then the bottom half, I'm like, oh, I should use Dior because this is a Dior video. So I have from here down my um, Dior Forever Matte Foundation in the shade, I believe it's 0N. It's not in the bottle, which I think is so strange. And I just realized that it says to shake well. And I didn't. Anyway, so uh, I just topped that off with a bit of the Westman Atelier Contour Stick in Biscuit. Um, Again, up top, that's the NARS bronzer. And then I just went over it with the NARS bronzer just so I could kind of blend everything in here. So I'm not sure which blush I want to use. There's so many that I have and I don't know. Like, do you want me to use the Givenchy one again? I just used that in my YSL video. I think I'm having a tough time deciding because I want to use this blush, which is newer, which is the Lavender Blonde by House Labs. But I don't know that it really goes with what I'm doing today. So I think I'm going to use a Dior blush, but I don't know which one. I might go in with Rosewood. And then if I'm not feeling it, maybe I'll go in with a little bit of cherry on top of that. I feel like I did that last weekend and I liked it. So let's do that. Why not? If I can find them, where is it? It's right here. So I had it out from yesterday. My desk is an absolute mess right now. <laughs> it's frightening. It's rather frightening. Okay, so I'm going to go in with Dior Rosewood. And the reason I'm doing two videos today, while well, my fiance's at the beach, yes, I'd rather film than be at the beach. I know, it's weird. I don't know, I just did not, I didn't sleep well last night, and I don't know, I guess I could have slept on the beach. But I kind of have a phobia, I'm such a germaphobe, I have like a phobia of going to the beach, and because a bunch of our beaches like people get sick when they go and I'm like that's gross like I don't want to go and get sick like I'm talking like the man-made beaches so maybe if it's just a regular lake or beach you wouldn't get sick but the man-made ones I don't know seems like there's like issues with those ones all the time I remember reading something last year and people were like throwing up and stuff from going in the water and I'm like that does not sound like my idea of a good time. So I do like to go, but I'll generally just not go in the water unless I read that the water is like safe to go in. <laughs> I'm such a baby, what's wrong with me? But hopefully I can actually take my nephew to the beach next week because I'll be in BC and I feel like BC is just cleaner, okay? So I'm really kind of loading this on. I think it's the brush. That I don't get like a ton of pigment because the sh the blush is pigmented like that actually looks really nice okay so I think I'm gonna leave that for now after I built up 75 layers I'm like I think that's good but yeah so because I'm going away I wanted to kind of just like get myself ahead on the filming scene I'm probably going to do a video out there if I can. Maybe I'll do like a vlog or something. I don't know if anybody would be interested in seeing that. But yeah, I think it'd be fun. And then if I don't do a vlog, I'll probably do a makeup video. Because I do have the other Chanel quad coming. But sorry, I just want to fix this. What's happening? 
what? What the what? I don't know. I think I was doing this like backwards. Anyways. <laughs> I do know how to braid, I swear. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I think I'll either do a vlog or I will do maybe that Chanel video, but I just have to find a space to film there because I don't really know where I guess I could talked about this in my last video I guess I could maybe film in my brother's office we'll see what happens but this is what the rosewood is looking like I'm not sure which which highlight I feel like using I don't have a Dior highlight I want to use something different I feel like I've been using the same stuff all the time do I want to go Peau de Peche Hmm. Yeah, why not? Uh, it gives me a little bit of a cast though. Okay, I might just do Pote Page a little bit from Westman. And then I might go over top of that with just the, this guy from Charlotte Tilbury. It's a champagne glow. This one, I just want to make sure I'm using because I don't want it to go bad. I bought it last year and it's a cream, so it scares me a little bit. But I do love this one. I kind of want to try the liquid version of this but I just I have so many and it's like I want to use what I have because that's my fear is that everything will just go bad at once and then I'll be mad at myself for not having used them and then wasting money but this one is just it's so pretty it does have like that teeny bit of cast to it because I'm a ghost but it's fine. So I might just put like just a little dash of the champagne glow over top. But yeah, that is super pretty. If you've never used it or tried it, you should. But it's super expensive. So if you're not in the market for a super expensive one, don't do it. Okay. So... Just to like brighten it a bit. I just don't want to have too much of a cast here. Okay. So let's get into the reason why you are watching this video. <laughs> I'm sorry I talk too much. I'm sorry. So I don't have soft cashmere number one. So I have the newly formulated soft cashmere. So I wish I could compare them. Unfortunately, I cannot. I do have other like color stories in the old formula so this is the old it, like I don't want to say old because this just came out last year like it's not old but in the old formula so this was new dentel dentel so this is what it looks like and the way that you can tell if it's new all the writing will be in capital letters there won't be any there's just the capital d there so there's no lowercase letters on the newer one and same with the packaging so I do love this. I just pulled this out the other day. I'm like, why haven't I worn this in forever? Because it is beautiful. So that is the old one. The old one does contain talc as the first ingredient. So these ones do not. You know what I realized too? The shelf life on both is only six months. Like, eh. Who goes through an eyeshadow in six months? Unless you're using the same eyeshadow every single day, like, good for you. Because I have too many eyeshadows and there's no way I'll get through one in six months. So this is the newer packaging. This, this was the matte formula and then this packaging is shiny. So you can see capital letters and then just the capital D and then the lowercase. I O R, and then to open, this is the old packaging. There's just a button here that you press and then open it and it just clicks closed. This one, there is no button. There's just the CD that you kind of push open. So yeah, um, are there a difference in the, yeah, there's a little difference in the 
tools that it comes with. These are the old ones. The new ones say Dior on them. And this is not dual ended. This one just says CD. This one is not dual ended. And then, oh, both of the old ones are double sided, which I actually kind of like. I used to like using this. And then this is the new. So, well, the tools kind of suck in the new one. Not that I really use them much, but sometimes it's nice to use like this just to get in like the corner of the eye. So as much as people kind of hate the little tools, I do use them sometimes. So this is the new Quint Soft Cashmere. Sorry, I'll flip it proper way so you can see that is new. I was trying to get the old formula, but Sephora, I got it from Sephora. Sephora already had the new one online. So I will do a swatch when I'm done of all of the colors. If you wanted to see comparisons, Lexi John, I know did, I'm not sure if she did soft cashmere for sure, but I think she compared khaki to jungle and she did a couple others. So I would check out her channel. Excuse me, I'm drinking pop. I'm sorry, I'm a little burpy. Um, and then Sophia Sees Beauty, I mentioned in my last video, did the comparison from the old formula to the new formula in soft cashmere. So check her out. She has great videos. She's She seems like super sweet. I like watching her because we're very similar in skin tone and she likes a lot of like neutral, kind of like warm, palettes this one is cool toned but yeah I don't know I just like I like watching her she's cute she's very sweet yeah. so okay I'm going to start with the middle shade there and I'm gonna put that in my crease there aren't okay there is one matte shade the only matte shade is that darkest chocolate brown and I have used this already and I have to say I know a lot of people were saying basically the new formula is kind of crappy but I haven't had any problems with this one I mean granted I haven't tried the old soft cashmere to compare it to this one so possibly you know maybe it just doesn't go on as smooth but I am fine I don't know I haven't struggled with the formula is not blending or not lasting. I wore this last weekend. I think it was Sunday we went out for lunch and I wore it all day and I didn't have any problems with it coming off or yeah, just longevity wise. I did not have any issues with it. Um, I'm in this little like beauty group on Facebook, which I believe Lisa J is also in. Um, Lisa J, is that? Yeah, from BK Beauty. Um, and everyone in there is just so cute and so nice. And people just post like their new stuff. People post um, sales or, you know, new things to come. Just looks that they've created. I posted a couple of pictures in there of like the Natasha Denona um, Yucca palette. But. Yeah, um, somebody I was talking to was saying they tried this and they're like, oh, it did not stay on me. I'm like, oh, I have soft cashmere. Which color did you buy? Because I'm like, I didn't have any issues with that. She said, that's the one. And I'm like, what? Really? But I guess, you know, different strokes for different folks. I think some things will work for you. That's not going to work on everybody else, obviously. But I'm just showing you what works for me. Um, so I'm going to go in with that kind of sparkly top shade there. This is, I guess, like the money of the, the Quint. I always want to say quad. Like this is the shade that's the winner. I don't use them wet. You can. I think what I would do is put it in the shadow and then spray my brush. I think maybe this was the shade that's not as, 
you know, outrageous or pigmented. I think the other one comes up a little more silvery and shimmery, but I am more than okay with how much payoff is coming off right now. I'm using like a little more of like a dense kind of packer brush. This is just, this is a, the Naked Honey brush that I got with my palette. And it's really good. I actually like this brush. Usually they kind of put crappy brushes in palettes, but I use this one quite a bit. So I'm just going back in, building up the shimmer just a tiny bit. But yeah, I don't know. I haven't had any issues. I don't know. Um, and I'm thinking it is just because people have tried the old one, then they try the new one and they're disappointed because they're expecting that like boom of shimmer and you know but I don't know I really like it and I haven't had any issues so I'm gonna go in with I haven't used this shade yet I don't think so I'm gonna go in with that bottom shade and just kind of deepen up the outer V here just a smidge and then I am going to go in with the, do I need a blender brush? I might. I'm just using a pencil brush for now, but. But yeah, some of the shades that Sophia compared, I think it was the middle shade and this shade, I think were very, very similar. I think the dark matte brown was a little bit different and it looked like the dark matte brown was a little smoother in the older formula compared to the new one. But again, I haven't had any issues with it not being smooth. I think it's just in comparison to the old one. So yeah, I'm not sure if you can even find the old palettes anywhere else. I know Holt Renfrew had had it in stock and then I checked again and then it was gone. So they're obviously, they have both some of the older palettes still in stock and then they have the newer reformulated ones. So I actually had Jungle in my cart because I saw Gigi's Beauty using Jungle compared to Khaki. Uh, sorry, she actually did comparisons as well, not to this not to soft cashmere though and she loved jungle and I'm like why why do you have to change a good thing like I understand they're trying to be clean but like don't change the performance of them like you can't make it worse <laughs> you know what I mean don't make the performance worse make it better but I don't know so I'm just going to blend this a tiny bit more. I'm not adding more product. I'm just blending. So this is what we are looking like. And I'm going to go in with Urban Decay Whiskey. And... I'm going to smoke that out with that deepest brown. I'm so far away from my mirror that I hope this is not looking like total garbage, but yeah, so I've had this for a couple weeks already and I really liked it. So take that with a grain of salt. Everybody's different. If you love, love their old formula, you might hate it. But I'm just showing you how it works for me. I'm just gonna grab um, my angled brush and just kinda pack it on a little bit more because I feel like I'm losing some of that depth 
I might have had another color on the uh, smudge brush. So I think what I'm going to do is maybe deepen that outer corner just a tiny bit, go in with that dark brown, and just deepen it just a little bit more. Yeah, like, I don't know, I haven't had any issues with this, which I'm so happy about because I'm like, how did I never try this before? I feel like if you have, you know, like the Naked Palette, or not, sorry, what am I talking about? Not the Naked Palette, the Natasha Denona Glam Palette, you don't really need this, but I do feel like there is, there is a difference. You will get a very similar look, but they're not the exact same colors. Like I think there were a few that weren't really like dupable. I can compare them though, just if you were interested. I saw Nisha do a, such a beautiful look using this quad or Quint. <sighs> Quint. Nisha, I will link her channel. I think it just fluff, fluff. Oh, I can't remember. I will link her channel as well. But she used the old version of this and it just looked so pretty on her. She has blue eyes and it was just like oh see I used a little too much there. See, so it does have pigment because Sugar Puff and Fluff. I think that's her channel name. Okay, so there we go. I feel like it's blended. I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna go under the eye now with probably that darkest gray mixed with the darkest brown. And really kind of smoke it out. Don't ask me why, but I love having my hair up in like a braid when I do like a really kind of sultry, like smoky eye. Is that weird? I guess we all have our things. I don't generally like my hair up. I'm not a fan of my ears. Like if they were just like, you know, cute and like that big, I'd be like, okay. They're just stick out a lot, so I'm not the biggest fan. I mean, luckily they're not as big as they looked when I was a kid. Oh my God, I'll never forget this one picture I took. I think I was in grade two. And I tucked my hair behind my ears and my teeth were all messed up. Because you like I was like losing teeth still and yeah, gotta love that phase. And yeah, it was just a hot mess. I remember getting it back and being like, I will never put my hair behind my ears again in a photo. But guess what? Passport photo? You have to. I was all excited. I'm like, did, did my hair, did nice makeup. And then they're like, okay, tuck your hair behind your ears. And I'm like, why? I'm just going in with for a collection eyeliner and this is in the shade tiramisu i heard this is very similar to is it perfect brown or soft brown by makeup by mario one of the two i think whichever one is darker i think it's probably perfect brown i've heard don't quote me Okay, so I'm gonna go finish my other eye and get my mascara on and I will be right back. All right, so mascara is on. My, my lashes are being a little janky today because I had mascara on previously, washed it off, and so there was like a little bit of remnants of the mascara still left on my lashes. Um, I just did my lip liner, which is the NYX Nude Beige. I'm gonna go in with this lipstick by Dior in the shade 220. Um, I don't know the actual shade name, but that's the number. 
and it's a little pinkier than I usually go for. But I wanted to show you that this quint really goes with anything. So this is the pinky tone lip, 220. Then we have the rosewood blush and I'm gonna do a different blush and lip also. So again, that's rosewood. So you can definitely see like it's kind of pulling the pink out of this eyeshadow. That silver, it's kind of like a taupey, pinky, silvery. Again, I will do swatches. I forgot to use this while I was filming, but I just put it in just the corner of my eye. So I'm gonna change the lip and I'm gonna change the blush. So I'm in the kind of pinky tones right now. I'm gonna go into cherry because this is what I wore last weekend and I really liked the way it looked. So I was like, may as well just show you how that looks. Where is my cherry blush, you ask? I didn't know. No, that's rosewood. Here we go. Right in front of my face, cherry. And I'm going to use a different blush brush that I use for this one. This is the Sephora collection number 96. Sorry, it's dirty. I used it last weekend. I'm going to go in with cherry and just kind of switch up this blush a bit. Tell me which you prefer. I just love this shade. So now it's not really going with my lip because now we got kind of like a warmer toned blush. So I am going to go because it's kind of like that reddish shade. I'm gonna go in with my Gucci, as usual, and just cover that lipstick. I do really like that one, by the way, though, that pinky toned on. I'm just going for something a little more nude. And I just feel like that kind of changes up the look a little bit. So now we have a warmer toned blush and a more nude lip. Again, I am going to add a tiny bit of this. No, you know what? I'm going to do something different. I'm going to use the CoverGirl instead of my trusty Sephora collection number 32. And just kind of dab this in the middle. I think this is Dolce de Leche, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, number 225 Dolce de Leche in the CoverGirl. What's before? Cream. Cream. So to me, this is more my style. I prefer this, but sometimes I like going with like a little kind of pretty pinky toned look. So I think what I'm going to do, just wanted to show you kind of like the finished result. What I think I'm going to do is do the comparison. So I'm going to compare the Natasha Denona palette. If I can find it in this monstrosity, I have like, usually I have my palettes together, like my Natasha Denona palettes are together and my Patrick Ta palettes are together, but right now it's kind of a hot mess. Actually, I wanted to do this too, so I might, I did this last year, I used this um, eye palette, which is the Amber palette by Wayne Goss, and I absolutely love it. And I never did a look with it. So I don't know, let me know if you'd be interested in that. I do think they're very like summer into fall shades. So, and I feel like this is kind of more winter. I just think like I associate cool tones with winter. It's cold, but I will show you some swatches. So let me just take a look because I don't even, I haven't even swatched them next to each other. See, right off the bat, I already noticed that there is no real shade for this one that I can compare it to because it has, it's cool toned, but if you move it a certain way, it almost looks warm. It's very hard to describe, but I will swatch that. See what I mean? Like there's silver, but there's also like a taupey warmth to it. 
Maybe I'll do it on my hand here. I'm the worst at swatching. If you watched my last video, you will know. That's just so beautiful to me. And I bet you it would have gone on my eyes even more beautifully if I would have done it with my finger or if I would have used a glitter glue or used it wet. So I'm trying to see if I can find one here. The only one I can think is maybe center eyelid because it has a touch of that pinkiness to it, but it doesn't have, it's more pink, less taupe. So they are similar, but not the same. So now I'll go in with, I noticed this one is packed a little harder. Um, you don't really get as much pigment off of that one. But I will try to compare that. Again, there's no real comparison for that one. So it's very soft, definitely more an inner corner shade to me. Um, yeah, there's nothing that I can really compare that one to either. This one's a little more pink and kind of too sparkly. So similar again, but not the same. If I could tell you which one I prefer out of the Natasha Denona and the Dior, I do prefer this color. This one's just a little too pink. And if you're looking for something softer, this is the Dior, that's Natasha Denona. So that you're gonna get that like punch from Natasha Denona, which a lot of people love. I actually haven't used this palette in so long and I don't know why because I do think it's so beautiful. So I'm gonna go in, I'm just gonna wipe my hand off here because I don't have enough room. So I'm gonna go in with that middle shade, which is this one here. And again, I can't really see anything that I could directly compare it to. I think the most similar would be outer eyelid. It's kind of lower, lower, I mean bottom shade. But it's more brown and it's darker. This one has a little bit more, I want to say coolness, but kind of, yeah, I guess, more like taupey. And this one is more brown. Um, the bottom one, I feel like I could get something pretty similar, but not exact again. So this darkest shade here, or not darkest shade, the darkest shimmer shade, I should say. There we go. So again, it's kind of that silvery gray, but almost looks purple. There isn't purple in here, but it almost has a purpley vibe to it. And then I'm gonna go in with outer eyelid. You know, they're all called outer eyelid. I don't know, I don't know if, I feel like that's gonna be too dark and I feel like center eyelid is too light. So I will try that outer eyelid just to see. Yeah, this is definitely more like warm I would say so again again not exact but similar you can get a very similar look you're, you're not gonna get the exact same look but very very similar so if you have this already you definitely don't need this but I like it I think for me the reason why I don't use my big palettes is just I like having something small I just like having something small to bring with me if I'm going somewhere and I saw Sophia Sees Beauty compare this brown. Like this brown swatched really, really well for me. When she compared it to the to the old one, the old one swatched so much better and this one looked like garbage, but this one just now swatched really well. So I don't know. But yeah, so that is that deepest brown shade. And I'm going to swatch, I guess, Lash Line would be the closest one. There's Lash Line and there's Smoke. To me, Lash Line looks the most similar, but I can definitely tell it's for sure cooler toned. Yeah. So those are the comparisons to the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. I absolutely love the Glam Palette and I will never get rid of this baby, but I need to pull it out more. Maybe I'll do some looks in the winter time. But yeah, this is the new formulated Dior Quint in soft cashmere and I have had zero issues zero complaints I absolutely love the way that it performs on me 
again i have used the old formula but i haven't used this specific color story but i really really <laughs> my hair is like meow, popping up all over the place but i really really enjoy how the look came out and i do love the cool tones and yeah i have nothing bad to say about it except the shelf life dior get it together and it also if you're going to redo a color story make the colors exactly the same like is jungle supposed to be or is khaki supposed to be the new jungle because if it is make it the exact same shades even in the new formula just make it the exact same shades why do you change something that is not broken that's all i have to say about that but besides that i do love soft cashmere and i'm so happy that i picked it up and I really enjoyed it. So that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed and I will hopefully either be getting up a vlog or I will try to get up the Chanel but uh, Byzance in the Venetian um, quad. So thank you so much for watching and I love you. Bye.